okay uh, we have seen the first part of operating cycle now we are going to see the second part of our operating cycle is debtors turnover ratio okay so here is a formula i already given in the sheet uh, debtors turnover ratio need annual credit sales divided by average debtors so first we will talk about average credit sales okay so i will first copy this formula into excel so this is the formula i have copied already okay now we will see this what is this so here it is given the need annual credit sales so first if you see the balance sheet of for 2019-20 first we will see page number 78 okay so here uh, pnl we have to refer okay pnl revenue from operations revenue from operations okay so it is given here correct revenue from operations standalone balance sheet profit and loss upon we are seeing revenue from operation note number 21 and the amount is 49490.85 done so here we are able to get how much is the sales has done in that particular or year by a organization this cluster india Means this cluster india through their main core operations they have earned this much amount now we have to see the credit sales for this okay if you go on that note number 21 revenue from operations of this value sheet you will see the revenue from contract uh, with the customers sale of goods and other operating revenues it is total export in central means total how much is export and all it is given so this is total is given this total is given to you okay understood so we have to go in note we have to see what is the data is given so you are able to understand what date means what they are earning through the sale of finished goods this is they are able to earn and through the export in settlements through the export how much they are earning but here if you see the asset the credit or cash sales is not given so we consider whatever the revenues whatever the revenue from operations generated by the company means these sales are on credit basis understood we are considering this all particular this sales are net sales of organization because formula says what net annual credit sales correct so we are considering this particular information of revenue from operations from pnl we are considering as a our credit sales 78 this is the you will see here credit sales understood so i am taking this data directly 49 okay so i will copy as it is here then so now the next year for 2019-20 so it is data is available with me in front of me so i am keeping the same here okay now 2019-18 also i have to see so i will go on my balance sheet page number 68 and here is my pnl in front of you in pnl 2017 data i need 18 18 sorry it is 46 3 198.50 so i'm copying it and i'm pasting so i got the three years revenue from operations then three years revenue from operations i got means first part of this neat annual it is done okay this part i have done revenue from operations i will change the colors so you are able to understand first part is done this is year wise also done then this first this part is covered okay first part is covered now the average debtors average debtors means what my trade receivables correct so here you have to see the now balance sheet okay this is from PNL. now we are going to see the balance sheet so for the balance sheet i will open the balance sheet in front of you of 1920 so here is a balance sheet in front of you so here it is given see in a current asset asset side in current assets it is trade receivable see 8b 8b is given right so 8b as it is amount i'm testing okay i'm keeping the same amount as it is here okay and here is a 2018 also data i have so i'm copying this 3375.50 I am copying the same here. Okay.
now we will see 2018 19 so on that day of balance sheet how much was the receivable what has given here receivables here yeah. at 2018 okay 2018 how much was the receivable this much so i'm taking the same here data okay i need to do 17 data also okay because uh, average four years i need because to calculate the two years i need four years data so i'm going on 2017 2017 Page number 62 is the balance sheet. So here is a your trade receivable of 2017. See 2017 and see here it is given. Okay. 2067.29. So I am keeping the same. Okay, here. Then so I got now year wise. Now I got year wise the debtor somewhat. Okay, every year. Okay, this is nothing but what I need to say. Not average. I need to say it is a uh, closing, closing balance, and closing balance is given in a balance sheet. Correct. So now average calculations. What you have to do? Given in 2019-20, and here it is given 2000. 19, 18, 18, 17, 18, and it is 2016, 17. Okay, so here it is given. Okay, so for your understanding purpose, I'm writing the full years now. Okay, so here what you have to do 2019, 20 plus 1918 you have to make the total of it and divide by 2 okay divide by 2 this you have to do understood this you have to do so you are able to get the average so i will do in front of you only this plus this divided by 2 so in this way i will stretch the column then so now i got the average also now I got the second parameter of our average. It means now I got all data. See, average, average data, and average data also I got. I got credit. See, this also I got, and this also I got. Now put up the values into the formula. See, the revenue from operation. So this I am writing here. I will just close this all so you are able to understand. So here, it is this amount I am copying. Okay, and for this, I am copying this amount, average that we have calculated. Okay, so I will just take the formula. So, all the information will come. Then, now, same way, I will calculate for years. Okay. Now, here, to calculate the turnover, what I have to do? You have to divide. So, I am dividing this, divided by this. Then, so, in this way, I have calculated for all three years. So now here it is in short if I wanted to conclude how many times this cycle of debtors is going to uh, rotate into this particular cluster India Limited. So I can say 11 times in a year of 2019-20 this cycle is going to move. Same for 19-18 and 17-18. Then now this is number of times but number of days of debtors not yet calculated. So we have a separate one more formula if we see. It is given average collection period. Average collection period formula is what number of years, sorry, number of days in a year divided by debtors turnover ratio. So we will keep the same formula. I have copy pasted the formula here. Now I have a years. Okay, I have a years here. Okay, so we just align it properly. Yeah. Okay. So 365 days. So I am now keeping the same. I am not rounding up the cycles. So get the actual data then. So if I apply this, so now I will calculate in front of you 365 days divided by 10 point. Okay, so how much I got? 33.69. So same way I will calculate for the next year also. So I will get the data. Okay, now I will round up the days. 
for my calculation of last operating cycle. Okay, so it is thirty three point seven, so it is thirty four, thirty three point four, so it is thirty three, thirty twenty seven point four three, so it is twenty seven percent. Then so this is nothing but what last my important answer we have calculated. Okay, this is the important answer that we have calculated. So now for the operating cycle as per that we need debtors collection period correct so debtors collection period we have calculated for the three years okay this is the three years data we have just now calculated okay i hope up to this everybody understood first we have calculated the inventory turnover this is the inventory turnover period for the three years now we have calculated the debtors collection period for the Gloucester India for 2019-20, 1918 and 1718. Then, so now the next video will talk about a creditor turnover ratio. Okay, so if you are not understanding or something, please see the video again.